In this video, we will start applying what we said in the previous video. We said previously we need three measurements to be known before we start. Now the measurements that we will use is top circle diameter equal to 7 cm, bottom circle diameter equal to 5 cm, and the height equal to 8 cm. Now as we will use centimeters as a unit to work with, so in Illustrator, press Ctrl plus R to show the rulers. Now right click and change to centimeter. Now select Ellipse tool. Press once at any place in the page, change width to 7 cm and height to 7 cm. We can click concentrate width and height, then change one of them to 7 cm and the other will change automatically. Now click again and draw a circle with 5 cm diameter. Select line segment tool and click anywhere in the page, type 8 cm. Now, to work correctly, select Type Tool, write the measurement next to each item. Now we need to calculate the circumference of each circle. So open calculator and type 7 times pi and this equal to 21.99 so we will use 22 cm. Type this number beside the top circle. Now for the bottom circle type 5 times pi and this equal to 15.7 cm. Also type this number beside the bottom circle. Now we have all the information needed to start drawing our die line. Now select rectangle tool, press anywhere, for width use circumference of the top circle which is 22 cm. And for height, use the height of the cup, which is 8 cm. Make the rectangle with stroke only and remove fill if there is a fill color. Now, click Ctrl plus C, then Ctrl plus F to paste in front, or you can go to Edit, Copy, then Edit, paste in front. Make sure concentrate width and height is turned off. Now change the width to be equal to the bottom circle circumference which is 15.7 cm. Zoom in. Now select direct selection tool Click and drag bottom left anchor with holding shift until snap. Do the same for bottom right anchor. When we drag the anchor, an angle created here and we want to know the value. To do that, draw a line here. Now move it until snap to top anchor. Now select rotation tool, move anchor point to top, then start rotating the line until snap. You will see the angle right here. It's 21.5 degree. Write the value to the side. Now 
Now select the inner rectangle. Go to object, envelope distort, make with warp. Now in warp options, select bend and start moving with up and down keyboard arrow keys until the side fit in the outer rectangle side. Change value to 23.9, press OK. Now select the outer rectangle and delete it. Now we want to convert the envelope to path, so go to object, expand and hit OK. Now as the cup is a part of a circle, we need to check if our top and bottom curves is a part of a circle. To do that, select ellipse tool and draw a circle. With selection tool, select both and align center and top. Now we will scale the circle. Go to Properties, set Reference Point to Top Center, make sure Maintain Width and Height Proportions is selected. Now select Width and start scaling with up and down keyboard arrow keys until the circle fit at the curve edge. Zoom in to check. Now we want to do the same for bottom curve, select the circle, Ctrl plus C to copy, Ctrl plus F to paste in front. Change reference point to the center, select the width and start scaling until the circle fit to the bottom curve. Change the value to be correct as possible. Now we are sure that our curve is a part of a circle. Now we want to check our sides and we want to create the glue flap which will be glued when the cup folded up and also we want to determine the center of our design which will contain the logo or the main data. To do that, draw a straight line that intersect with both circles. Move it until snap to the center. Now double click at the rotation tool, type the angle which we take previously which is 21.5 degree. Press copy to make a copy from the line. Zoom in. As we can see there is a small space between what we drawn and the line. Now the question will be. Should I work with old side or with the new guide? The answer is with the new guide because the new one created with a precise angle. Now we are working with precise measurements. Now we want to duplicate the line to the other side. Select the line. Double click at the rotation tool. Now type minus 21.5 degree. Press copy to make a copy from the line. Now we want to create the glue flap with a width of 1.5 cm. To do that, 
Draw a circle with diameter of 1.5 cm. Move until snap to the edge. Now select the line. Double click at the rotation tool. Here we will not type any value. Select angle and with keyboard arrows start changing the value until the line approximately reach the edge of our circle. Press copy. Now delete the circle. Now we want our logo to be at the center here. So we need to create a guide at the center to use it in design. Now when we create these lines, we use the 21.5 degree angle. So if we want to divide the space between the lines from the middle, or in other words, we need to take half of the space from right and half from left to create an area at the center for our logo. So we want to divide our angle by 2. Use the calculator, 21.5 divided by 2, this equal to 10.75 degree. Select the middle line, double click at the rotation tool, now type 10.75 degree. Press copy. Now select the middle line again, double click at the rotation tool, type minus 10.75. Press copy. Now if you zoom out, you will think that the shape is too complicated, but it's not. If you create it for one more time alone, you will find that the steps is too simple. Now we will simplify the shape. So select all. Select shape builder tool. Hold Alt and remove everything down here. Zoom in. Select this part. As we can see, this is the old shape that we used before drawing the circles. We don't need it anymore, so delete it. We created it as a reference. Now, select all again, select shape builder tool, hold alt and remove the top part of the lines here. Now select all again, go to object, path, simplify to remove extra anchors. Select the middle line and delete. Select the remaining two inner lines. Right click, make guides. Now check your design and delete any extra lines. Now to create a bleed around the shape, go to object, path, offset path and type 0.3 cm, press ok. As we can see, the bleed is all around the shape, but we need to exclude glue flap, so select this line. Ctrl plus C to copy, Ctrl plus F to paste in front. Go to object, transform, scale. Use arrow keys to extend the line outside the shape. Now select the inner shape, Ctrl plus X to cut, select all. Select shape builder tool, 
Hold Alt and remove unwanted area. Now Ctrl plus F to return the main shape. Delete the line. Now select bleed area, right click, make guides. Now our die line is ready. As we can see, here will be the logo. In the area on the left and the right, we can put the address or any required information. 